guys what's up welcome back so today's video is going to be a Mac haul um just Mac only I can't remember what I've shown you guys that I've picked up and what I haven't so this is just going to be some stuff from the past couple times I've went um like four or five times since my last haul but like I said I can't remember what I've showed you guys or talked about so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I bought the past like couple weeks so if you're interested in seeing my Mac haul please keep watching all my hauls I'm just going to reach into the bag and see what comes up first so oh by the way I got a bunch of stuff from the Mac wash and dry collection so it's kind of going to be a Mac wash and dry haul with a few permanent stuff so I'll kind of end with the wash and dry um the first thing I got is an eye coal this is any color some molder I'm obsessed with Costa Rica it's what's line on my lower waterline today and my upper waterline Costa Rica if you have brown eyes is like bay I know I talked about it in my favorites video but I don't own a really good black eyeliner so I decided to go with some molder um it's really really nice I'll show it to you guys it is so black so this is the eye coal and smolder. What I love about these eye coals is they're so creamy, they're so pigmented, and if you wanna do like a smudged liner, you're totally able to achieve it. That's pretty much why I bought that. And then the next thing I got was just a restock. I got the MAC 35 lashes. I love these things. You guys know that. Um, me and my last pair of 35s got in the worst fight ever. It was awful. And I just got so mad at them and I decided to just buy another pair. I really like them, but to be honest, um, the reason why I got in a fight with them was because they only wore about four to five times and it was just really frustrating because they're like $20 and that's expensive for lashes. So that's what they look like. Um, I really like them though. I always curl them. They look way better curled. And then today I'm wearing Iconic by House of Lashes. Those are like bay right now. So I don't know what I'm going to wear these. But these are more natural. These are really dramatic. And then um, I also got a new brush. I needed a concealer brush just because when I use my, my MAC Pro Longwear, which I haven't used ever since I started wearing Naked Skin, it, Naked Skin comes with an applicator and Pro Longwear doesn't. So I thought I would pick up a concealer brush. This is the MAC 195 brush. This is just a flat tapered synthetic synthetic makeup brush it's really really nice as you guys can see it just looks like that and then it just fits really nice underneath your eyes in that triangle shaped motion I haven't used this yet and I'm really excited to use it to see what it does I also kind of feel like this would be really good to pack on pigment since it is synthetic a few lip products I bought this one online this is MAC Whirl um pretty self-explanatory it's MAC Whirl it's like the prettiest mauve color ever. I have a few of these laying around in my makeup collection. And I just decided to buy another one because when they're out of stock, they're out of stock for a long time. It's just a really pretty dusty mauve color. I haven't been using Whirl though. I've been using Boldly Bared like a mofo lately. And that's what's on my lips today. And then for a gloss. I got a lip glass and this is in color Oyster Girl. I'm obsessed with Floor Abundance and Spice. That's what's on me today. It's Floor Abundance and it's such a pretty peach. And Oyster Girl, I feel like, is a legit staple. And let's be real, I only bought this because Amrezi talked about it. So I just kind of felt like I had to have it. It's a really, really pretty, like, it's more of a cool toned and it's just so pretty. Like, you can see it from there. And this would look good on any kind of anything. It is just so pretty. It's like that everyday color I kind of feel like. I was going to wear this today, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to show it to you guys first. The next lippy I got is a retro matte lipstick. I know the matte collection actually just launched and I'm planning to buy them Thursday. And um, I decided to pick this one up while I was there, but this is an in color ruby woo uh i don't know why i never own this but this is like a legit staple in every makeup collection i actually don't think i own any reds 
sh um, I might own like one or two reds, but I'm not a red lip kind of gal. I feel like they look terrible on me, so I don't know, but I just kind of felt like this was a really pretty um, color, and everyone needs it. I kind of felt like it's a blue toned red, and I'll just do a swatch of it. Um, it's really chalky like and streaky, and it's really hard to apply on the lips. That's what I've heard, but it's, yeah, it's like a blue red. So this is what Ruby Woo looks like. Okay, the camera's picking up orange. Okay, all that is... <laughs> okay, I think it's like a blue, blue orange based red. And mine's actually really smooth. The one in the Mac store is like really super chalky, but that's what Ruby Woo looks like. Um, this would look so pretty for like a Hollywood glam. I even feel like it would look really good on what I'm wearing today, but I didn't want to put it on because I wanted to save it for you guys. So moving on to the MAC Wash & Dry collection, to be honest with you guys, when I first saw this collection, I wasn't super hyped about it. I was way more excited for last year's summer collection, which was the Alluring Aquatic collection. Um, I was way more excited for that than the MAC Wash & Dry, but after using and seeing the Wash & Dry and the Alluring Aquatic the wash and dry, I think, is way better than last year's summer collection. So I got, how much did I get? I got like three, I only got five things from this collection. A lot of it's still online. So I'm just going to kind of go, I'm going to start with the lips. Um, For the lips, I got a lip glass. And this is the color Girl on Board. I'm, I don't think I'm going to swatch any of this stuff just because I'm so weird like that. I don't like using my limited edition collection stuff. But this is a girl on board. Um, I swatched it next to Myth in the store, and this is like white. This is a legit white lip glass. Um, it smells really good, and it's just really white. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it actually. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just swatched it for the first time. That's depressing. So this is what Girl on Board looks like. I told you guys, it's legit white, but it's really pretty. I think this would be such a perfect topper on any single color that you wanna make look um, like glossy. I think that's like the perfect thing ever. And then for the lipstick, I only got one because I have Creme de Nude. I really wanted Steamy, but it was sold out. And then um, the other one that they had was a luster finish I think and it had no pigment and everyone was complaining about it so I ain't about that life but I got more and this is an amplified cream lipstick uh everyone has this if you have a matte collection I'm sure you have this so so pretty this is a permanent color so you can buy it but I wanted to buy the limited edition packaging and it's so creamy. So that's what orange looks like. I've been obsessed with oranges lately so that's kind of why I bought it. So I got distracted, but like I was saying, there was two blushes that launched. There was Hypnos and Crisp White. I'm fair. So I got the Crisp White one. I think this is such a pretty blush. If you are uh, medium skin, don't buy it because it's not going to show up on you, but I'm not, so I could buy it, and it's really, really pretty. Um, It looks way different in the pan. It actually looks darker in the pan versus when you swatch it. I don't, I'm going to swatch this because I am going to keep this and I am going to use it. So you really like, I, this is two coats of it and you guys, can you even see that? I don't even think you can, but let me just build it for you. That's, you can't even really see it. That's what it looks like. It's a really nice wash of color. Like I said, if you're medium, do not buy it because it barely shows up on me and I'm super duper fair, but I just thought this was a really pretty color and look at the packaging. The packaging on this line is absolutely gorgeous, I think, and I heard that it was like in collaboration with Tide or something like that. That's why it's called the wash and dry, but anyways, um, so the next face thing I got was the highlight powder. By the way, there were four bronzers. I didn't buy a single one since all of them are permanent, I'm pretty sure. But this is the highlight in Freshen Up. I'm not going to swatch this one because I don't know about it yet. I'm, I am might sell it. I don't know. But this is what the highlight powder looks like. Okay, so this is super controversial. I feel like, see how it has a highlight? I heard that is just a brush over, which means that the whole powder isn't a highlight 
once you get past the first layer of shimmer, it's powder, which is kind of frustrating in a sense that you'd think this would be a highlighter since it is a highlight powder. But like I said, once you get past that first layer, it's powder. It's not highlight, nothing. So that's what the Freshen Up powder looks like. And then for the last thing in this collection, I picked up an eyeshadow, the Lux Pearl Fusion Shadow. I own Peach Lux by MAC, and that has zero pigment. So when I bought this, um, the girl actually used it on my eyes, and um, it was way more pigmented. I wanted the warm tone one, and that had no pigment either. And this one actually did have pigment. This is the Permanent Press. This is the cool tone darker one. There is also a green one, but I felt like this one had the most pigment. That's why I bought it, because who wants eyeshadows with no pigment? That makes absolutely no sense to me. So this is what it... Oh my god, you guys. This <laughs> one. Okay, I opened it. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty. Um, so you get like three shades. You get a highlight. You get like a brown shade and then you get a dark sparkly black shade this is so pretty i'm obsessed with this i'll swatch it for you guys because i know i'm gonna keep this swatched so they're super pigmented which is why i bought it like i said and that's what it looks like so pretty so that is it for this mini little mac haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video like always if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe give this video a big thumbs up leave me comments down below and until my next video, I love you guys. Bye.